Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a slider uh, inside the project and uh, the value that we are getting from this slider uh, to use it as uh, changing the text size inside label or whatever you want. For you, this is our uh, simple project which has only one uh, Wii controller. Uh, to add a, to use the slider for our purposes I will add two uh, object here one of them is button another one will be label let me make this label quite a big and uh, we need as third object we need a slider let's select slider and add it to here okay uh, I'll change the name of this button to show slider because normally sliders uh, do not appear in this in the uh, in the main main view controller while you're selecting the button it shows the slider as first button I'll put here show slider show slider then this is the label there will be some sample text here sample text and this is the let's uh, create uh, for f first of all we need to create uh, outlets and actions uh, to use this object first I'll put one I'll create one action for this button uh, okay let's do like this we need to create a to create a UI a OBI action we need to select this button and put it here as a an action okay show button button pressed pressed okay this is our function to show the uh, slide view and we will create outlet for this label to do so we are selecting control and drag drop to the V controller it will be label label sample I'll put name as like this Okay, we created IB outlet for label. Then we'll create uh, another uh, outlet for our slider. Uh, drag drop from the slider. Slider outlet. Then we'll create another action for uh, action for slider. This is again drag drop from the slider action I'll put name like this okay this is it now what we will do while we're uh, we are uh, uh, clicking on the show slider it will show the uh, slider so by default slider should be hidden so what we will do we will select the slider slider outlet is hidden is equal to true this will make uh, our slider uh, this will hide our slider while it is uh, loading then while creating uh, while this clicking the show slider button it will make this slider uh, visible so we need to put slider dot is hidden to is equal to false then uh, to get the value from this uh, slider uh, you need to uh, put like this let's for test purposes let's put like this uh, print uh, sender sender dot value okay that's it is working okay it's building succeed 
uh, this is going how it's going to show our application why we select the show slider it shows us uh, the slider okay if we change the slider as you see here the value we, uh, that we are getting from the slider slider is changing so what next we will do while this is uh, slider uh, values are changing we need to uh, change the font size inside this uh, label the sample text should uh, increase and decrease while we are selecting this to do so uh, we need to write a code something like this it's label sample dot uh, font could be called uh, label dot font dot width with size and uh, inside size we can put uh, the value that we are getting from sender but uh, this is uh, as you see it's uh, this value should be the float value so we need to convert this value into the integer then the uh, and the float so how are we going to do it uh, let's write uh, integer is like this integer and inside parent okay we'll put inside integer uh, this one send there dot value and we need to convert this one to float also so to convert to float cg float inside parent this should be like this after uh, after converting it to float then we need to select the slider itself in the main starboard and change the values as a default value we can put for example uh, 15 there and the minimum value comes from 15 to till 60 uh, and let's run our application and we'll see that the value comes from the uh, the slider change the our samples text size okay let's click show slider slider here then as you see uh, as far as we we are we are changing the slider the sample text also is changing that's it i hope you enjoyed the video and you will click a like or subscribe to my channel thank you very much